me when I cause a little trouble. So after having Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's Teal Mask expansion, I was pretty floored by the fact that it ends with a to-be-continued screen, something new for the Pokemon series. And while I'm definitely expecting to see Kieran return in the next expansion, the most interesting thing we have to look forward to is this, uh, thing. So what's the deal? Well, supposedly this is the secret fourth Pokemon that's supposed to be associated with the Loyal 3. Let's go over the details. Of course, with the newest Pokemon DLC, data miners have uncovered some of the hidden behind the scenes aspects, including the fact that space was made for even more brand new Pokemon beyond what we see appear in Kitakami. Among these is the name Dokutaro. Now, this should sound vaguely familiar because when the Loyal 3 were originally revealed in a trailer, many fans immediately made the connection to the story of Momotaro. This is a Japanese folktale in which a boy named Momotaro joins together with a talking dog, monkey, and pheasant to defeat an oni that's terrorizing a village. So, along with Ogre Pond, it's clear that Pokemon was referencing this story. Some initial theories were that we, the player character, would take the place of Momotaro, banding together with the Loyal Three in order to defeat Ogre Pond. However, the reality is that the Loyal Three turned out to be the Lousy Three and that Ogre Pond was actually just baby. In all of this, it seems as if Momotaro was left out of the story. Now, it could be that Kirin was meant to take place of him in this narrative, we'll discuss that more later, but with something having the name Dokutaro, which is a more direct reference, that might be the case. I do also want to talk about the little animated story sequences we got. Because in the scene that features the Loyal 3 planning to seal the mask, there is another figure in the top right corner. When you view it as a still image, it might look like this is just Okidogi's other big hand coming up from the side. But when you watch it in motion, you can see that it moves independently. Also, the actual files for this cutscene have each member as their own piece, and the thing in the corner is also its own. And I find this so fascinating because if this were meant to be an unrevealed Pokemon, why would Game Freak even put it in the cutscene and files in the first place? If they were trying to hide it, why would they go through the trouble of putting it into the cutscene if it weren't relevant at the time. They're being real cheeky with this, they wanted to hint at it, they wanted us to find out and speculate. And I'm all for it. We also get an idea for what color this Pokemon would be because in the shop stall we can see a little plush toy that has a similar shape. And the most notable thing about it is the color, which is the same as the toxic chains worn by the Loyal 3. So there's the connection between them all. If this is the actual shape and rough size of the Pokemon, then it would obviously need some extra power to give it the edge it needs. Also might as well mention that it's shaped like a peach, which is pretty cool. Because in the story of Momotaro, he was born from a peach, Momo even just means peach. But like Doku Taro could even have power beyond just making toxic chains because uh the loyal three were just straight up dead right in the story ogre pond killed them with an ivy cudgel to the face then when kieran later punches the grave in anger you can see a little bit of purple haze around his hand and immediately after that the pokemon burst out of the ground and live again like what actually was that how did that happen well while we don't see doku taro sneaking around potentially influencing kieran i assume that it was still behind all of this with the purple motif I would have just assumed that something like, ooh, Dark Aura could have been the explanation behind it, but here's how I'm going to rationalize it. So the Loyal Three were given the Toxic Chains by Dokutaro, and the four of them were a bunch of evil troublemakers. Dokutaro's power extends beyond just making fancy-looking scarves, these have the power to harness Dark Aura and evil or whatever. So in the event that the Loyal Three die, they can be revived with this Dark Aura. By the way, that's just kind of a catch-all term, Aura is a canon thing in Pokemon, and it's basically the life energy of everything in existence. The point is that nobody would really walk up to a Memora of Pokemon that were thought to have saved the village and just let out their anger. It just so happens that Kieran was literally going through a villain arc and was feeling a lot of negative emotion, which he inadvertently transferred to the Loyal Three's bodies and they were brought back to life with the Toxic Chains. I think that's a reasonable enough explanation, you know, for a bunch of literal zombie Pokemon. There is also the fact that the shape of this thing is awfully similar to Glamora, a mysterious Pokemon that can only be found in Area Zero and potentially hides more secrets with its connection to the Terra Crystals and such. It is also a Poison-type Pokemon and happens to appear on the top of Oni Mountain, where some Terra Crystals have been found. Hmm... What is Gita hiding? Again, this is all assuming that this thing is actually a Pokemon, but the evidence is looking pretty convincing. The fact that it's appearing as an asset in the cutscene at all is enough for me to say, hmm, yeah, oh, okay, I, I believe it. In terms of when we'll be seeing it, I assume the Indigo Disc is as good a time as ever. With the whole to-be-continued screen coming after Kieran has vowed to be better than the protagonist, I think there's a good chance they'll both return ready for a fight. I I'm, I'm not prepared. So let me know what you think about this supposed new Pokemon after taking a look at how all the evidence fits together, and how you think the story of the Lousy 3 really went down. I don't always speculate things publicly based on data mine information, but I mean, Game Freak seem to be intentionally hiding this for us to discover, so I've got to hand it to them. Anyway, I've got to get back to training.
Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the great Gators. Cheeseburger Lasers, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Lil Swiss, Meme Supreme, Mochizuki Yoru, Nomad Nobi, Phantom, Quago, Taishirai, Volity, and Pastel Blood. If you would like to support, get your name shouted out here as well as access to emotes for comments, live streams, and sometimes early videos, you can become a channel member today. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes. Anyway, this has been GatorX, I'll catch you all later. Nintendo Switch, Pocket Monster, Scarlet, Violet.